All right, so for the list of view, there's one more thing I want to touch base here, which is how do we click on each of the view? Okay, click on the view, for example, show some information or maybe go to the next screen, right? So that is uh, not difficult to do. And in, uh, in order to do that, well, you have to change this part a little bit, all right? So you have to use something called a list of tile, all right? So what you want to do is here in the return, okay? You should be able to find that in the documentation somewhere in the Flutter. So let, let me actually show it. So Flutter uh, list view on tab. It's called on tab, okay, not on click. All right, so I want to find some of the, uh, if there is a spe uh, official documentation for that one, or maybe let's just take a look at the list view if they show us more data, more example. Um, this one didn't actually have it, so on tab. Nope, doesn't give us. Um, there's a flutter. Let's actually show flutter list view and list tile. All right, so something like this. Okay, it's called a list tile and some of the decoration, but I'm just going to show you how that works. So when I go here, instead of return just a basic UI. All right, I'm gonna return, uh, I will need to add rapid with something called the list tile. When you do this tile, it doesn't use a child, it actually use title. That's the only thing you wanna be careful, okay? So when you are doing this, nothing being changed, okay? That's it, still a list tile. All right, same thing. But then the difference now, you can actually add some kind of a, a function to say, if you click on this, what happened, right? So for the title, and I always just add it to the top so that it's easier to track. So there's something called on tab, all right? And then you could just specify a little function here. I can, I can just print the item is click, just print the message, refresh the page. And then I click on this one here. As you can see this row now, you can click on this and you can know which one you click, right? And then with that, I can say that I'm click on the certain index to show it. All right, so when, when you click on this, you know which ones you are clicking, right? So that's how it works. All right. So to make this example a little bit further, what if you want to click on this one and open another screen and then show that user the information? Actually, that's pretty easy to do. All right, so I'll do it very quick. All right, so I'm going to show you one, like uh, create a very quick like view here. I'll show a friend contact details. All right very quick at um, friend contact details page all right and they import it material design and then right here same kind of thing scarfold we have done this many times there's a body here i'll just show a bunch of columns all right a lot of the text for example i'm going to show the name There are four things. Okay, I also need an image. Actually, let's do a phone first. And also the uh, type, image, URL. Okay, for just call some kind of placeholder. So what I want to do is if you click on this one, I'm going to open the next screen. So that part is pretty simple, right? So I'm going to grab that same code right here. And I will say that if you click on this one, I'm going to open the next screen, which is friend uh, contact detail page. All right, so refresh the page, let's try it. I click on this and go to the next one. I click on this one and go to the next one, right? So, but now we're not changing the, the, the data. So we have to pass the data in, right? So passing the data is really easy. Um, you just gonna pass that through the constructor. So first of all, you have to figure out what kind of data you use here. So that's why I actually recommend you either, either use the object or you just use this type of uh, little dictionary, right? Because with this one, everything is together. You can just send the whole thing over, all right? So that's how it works. Um, since now I'm just using a, a, you know, a, a list here, all right? So you can definitely use the um, object as well. And uh, we can just try that. And the way it works is you actually go to the details here and we need to define a variable here. All right, so we'll call it like a, a contact details, all right, something like this. 
and then we need to integrate that into the constructor. All right, I think we did this one before. Just some very basic constructor here. All right, so with this, I can then go to uh, this list view here uh, to say that if you are uh, sending the object over, create a true screen, you have to provide that thing. So this one called contact details. And then you, you put the actual object. So the object actually is inside here. So you do the friend list and then specify the index. All right, so let's actually make sure I did the right name here. So it's called contact details, All right? And then right here, we do uh, this one here. Uh, this is a list view demo. page or I don't need to provide that okay let's actually just do that I don't have to type the name oh because I didn't use that default option that's why I don't have to type the name just put the actual uh, object over and send it over so this one will be sent it so once you receive it and then the code here you can actually use this one and this object here is in a parent class right not this current class you have to have to do here you will specify and something called a widget the widgets are going to access the things from the parent. So from here, you can do the same thing. All right, name. Okay, I'll just do this one more time. You do widget, contact detail, and then this is phone, and then widget, contact detail. This is uh, uh, type, finally, widget contact detail and finally we got image URL all right so try it so if I'm going to refresh the page click on this and that actually pass over all right go back Zach add that, that pass over go back and Joe that actually pass over all right so very simple example to show you you just use a constructor to pass the object over uh, you decide the type whether it's just a, like a loose type the uh, uh, hash table like this or you can just use a object that's probably even easier and better so that's how it works but the list of you here you want to ever click on that you have to turn everything into a list tile because that's how you can specify the untap message if you don't do the list tile you don't have the untap all right so that concludes the discussion of the list of you